Hi all, uh, today we are going to learn about while loop, how does a while loop work and we would also be covering an example in automation studio. This is how the syntax of a while loop looks like. During the execution, it will check for the condition. If the condition is true, it will execute the block of statement and after the execution of the statement, it will again check for the condition. And if the condition is true, again it would be executing the block of statements. So this loop is going to continue unless my condition is false. And once the condition is false, it would be jumping out of the loop. So this is how a while loop works. This is the syntax of while loop in automation studio. During execution, i is equal to greater than 0 is the condition. If this condition is true, it would be executing the statement temp is equal to i plus 1. And after execution of the statement, it will again check for the condition. And if the condition is true, again it would be executing the statement temp is equal to i plus 1. So this loop is going to continue unless my condition is false. And once the condition is false, it would be exiting out of the loop. So this is how a while loop works. Before programming let us see our program variables. We have two program variables that is j and i. j is an array of four integers that is j of 0, 1, 2 and 3 and i is the integer. Here integer i I have used to create the array structure. So j of i is the array structure. If i is equal to 0 means j of 0 that is the first array it is having a value of 100 similarly if i is 1 it's the second array and it's having a value of 200 similarly we have created four arrays by using the variable i so this j and i variables we are going to use in our automation studio we would be doing an example to find the biggest number from an array j in automation studio. Let us uh, start with the programming. We have declared three variables i, j and the highest value. i is the integer, j is an array of four integers and highest value is the integer which would be displaying the highest value from the array. So to save our time I had already wrote down the program. So I am going to explain over here. This is the while loop. In this while loop i is the array number. So we are having 4 arrays from 0 to 3. So 3 is the highest array number. So that is the reason we have written i is less than 4. If i is less than 4, then it will check the current array with the highest value integer. Initially the highest value and the integer i will be 0. So the current array is going to check the value with the highest value integer. Then it is going to move the current value of array into this highest value integer. And after completing this task, our array number would be incremented that is i is equal to i plus 1. So the second time my array number would be 1. So 1 it is less than 4 and here it would be j of 1 that is the second array and it's again going to compare with the highest value. And if the highest value is less than the j of 1 then it would be moving the j of 1 to the highest value. So in this way this loop is going to continue unless my i is 3. Let us start with the simulation. Here the integer value i is 4. The reason is that the i has already reached the value of 4 but still the while loop is being executing. So if I am passing the value of 500 in array 1, the highest value 
in comparison with the other three arrays the highest value is 500 that's why the highest value it's displayed as 500 so if I'm passing a value of 800 it will show as 800 so the highest value is being captured from all these four arrays by using the while loop so the while loop can be used to repeat any uh, particular statement or to find some integer value or a character value by comparing it with some other integer or a character value